Takeout and delivery services have become important to many food service operations as we continue to deal with the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. As we navigate the new food service environment, takeout and delivery will likely be the new norm. Selecting the right to go container is essential to providing your guests with the same experience at home as they would receive in house. When your guests sit down to eat, they want their meal to look and taste great. They also want it to be at the right temperature. However, sometimes as hard as you try, it's just not possible to control whether it will be delivered on time or whether they will eat it right away. So, how can you ensure your guests enjoy hot meals? People love convenience and there's nothing easier than being able to pop their meal into the microwave, whether it's for a few seconds or minutes. Microwave safe containers allow your guests to quickly and easily reheat their meal at home without having to transfer containers, dirtying more dishes or requiring any other thought. Takeout containers come in a variety of materials from plastic to styrofoam to aluminum or paper. However, not all are heat tolerant or safe for use in the microwave. This often has people asking, is this container safe for the microwave? The first product we're going to talk about today is polypropylene. You can tell it's polypropylene by turning your container over and finding the number five in the chasing arrows at the bottom of the container. This container is considered very microwavable. It's also considered freezable and dishwasher safe. Many, there's many different features that we're not going to cover today, but polypropylene is a very versatile, very microwavable container. The next container that we're going to talk about is aluminum. Aluminum, while being a very functional container to hold food, is not microwavable unless you see it clearly marked on the box that says microwavable. Some, some aluminum containers, believe it or not, are microwavable, but for the sake of this conversation, we are going to say that aluminum is not safe in the microwave. Please don't microwave aluminum. The next container that we're going to talk about, which has very similar warming properties of the polypropylene container, is a bagasse or a molded fiber product also comes in numerous shapes and sizes. There's definitely some positives to the environment using a type of container like this. There's also some negatives when it comes to uh, tamper evidency and leaking. Uh, but very safe in the microwave, not a problem. Also can go, many of them can go in the oven. So we've covered polypropylene, we've covered aluminum, and we've covered molded fiber. Now we're going to come to paperboard, which is commonly, you get soup in paperboard containers. It could come with a poly lining. It could come with a PLA lining. They should not go into the microwave. They are designed to have hot coffee, hot soup poured into them, but that is at a specific temperature. The microwave will elevate that temperature, thus making it uh, po the possibility of the, the lining leaching into the food product, which is basically what we're trying to avoid when we heat up our food. We don't, we want to enjoy our food, we want to enjoy it warm, we don't want to have chemicals or byproducts leaching into our food. So the next item that we're going to talk about is styrofoam. Styrofoam comes in many varieties that fast food operators use to get food safely out the door. However, when you get your burger home, when you get your frozen chicken home, it should not be placed into the microwave. The microwave is too hot and it causes, it, it, it will allow the leaching of byproducts inside these styrofoam products that possibly could leach into your, fo into your food. Please do not microwave styrofoam. There's also a very good possibility that it's gonna melt and get deformed and if you have a soggy product, it's going to leak all over your microwave. Another negative. So, 
We are not going to microwave coffee cups, soup cups, paperboard containers, aluminum, or styrofoam. So far, we are going to microwave polypropylene. Number five, molded fiber. No number, but you can tell because it looks like cardboard. Coming down to the last one, PET, number one plastic. Great for holding cold drinks, Coke bottles, water bottles, sodas, juices, smoothies. Perfect for those applications, not perfect for the microwave. You will lose, your product will become deformed. Whatever's inside there will leak all over your microwave. Not a good idea to microwave in PET.